How could this happen? One moment Miguel's here in my arms and then poof, he, he's flying off in the middle of the night to Mexico to save his mom and sister. And would you stop eating all this chocolate? Miguel's in danger. Your precious Miguel is the reason I'm eating all this chocolate. It's the only thing that soothes the emptiness inside me because Miguel has made me swear not to use magic. Oh, no wonder people who give up smoking gain weight. I'm going to be a blimp in a week at this rate, but it'll be worth every luscious mouthful. Well, we have to do something. That's right. Let's do it. Let, let's, let's cast a little spell and bring Teresa and Pilar back home. No, Tabitha, no magic. Well, then, let his mother and his sister's demise be on his head because I can do nothing. Your pompous twit of a boyfriend is blackmailing me, Kay, threatening me to expose me as a witch. Yeah, well, he's just trying to do the right thing. Now, what are we going to do? What if he gets hurt? Hurt? Huh. He'll probably be dead the moment he steps off the plane. What? What's happening? What, what is that? No, it's what? I don't hear anything. You don't hear that? Hear what? All I can hear is your annoying voice. Oh, thanks. You can't hear that organ music. Organ mi Organ music? Yeah, it's like someone playing right in the next room. Ooh, creepy. It's like Vincent Price in some horror movie. Oh, dear. Oh, I, I'm so sorry, Kay. Sorry about what? Well, organ music I I is a sign. It means that someone close to you is going to die. Miguel? Uh, okay, this music is awful. What, what do you mean someone's going to die? Who? Miguel? But I know. Well, you're the witch. Well, you're a witch, too. I'd be grateful if I were you. You've been given a, a vision, a glimpse of the future. Well, are you sure this organ music means death? Maybe it's just a sign that I haven't been going to church enough. Well, you got the church bit right. It's organ music from a funeral in a church. <gasps> it's a classic portent from the dark side. It signifies death. The death of someone very close to you. We have to stop this music. It's driving me crazy. Well, it'll stop when you acknowledge that you've received the message. I got it! Death is coming! Woohoo! Knock it off! You know, you really must mind your manners when it comes to the dark side, Kay. You wouldn't enjoy your life as a cockroach, you know. Well, well maybe this is just a, a general warning, right? I mean, we don't know that death is coming for Miguel. I hate to tell you this, Kay, but when a young, untrained witch receives an auditory premonition, it usually relates to her own life or the lives of friends and family. You mean death could be coming for Maria? Well, I hope not. No, Maria isn't the dim bulb who took a plane in search of danger. Oh, this is a disaster. What do I do? Do what we all do when we're in stress, dear. Have a chocolate. Try one of these with the brown sprinkles on top. They're my favorite. Café au lait. <laughs> this doesn't seem right. Oh, don't say that. Chocolate is the only food that is perfect for every occasion. When you get to my age, <laughs> it's even better than romance. Oh, I forgot. You won't ever get to my age, will you? <laughs> Did you hear that? What? Oh, no, not again. Yeah, no, it's weird sound. I don't know what that is. Well, try and describe it. It's odd. It, it, I don't know, it sounds like a shuffle. Like someone's digging a hole. Gardening, maybe? Anything else? 
Yeah, it sounds like the, the dirt is falling off the shovel and it's hitting something. What? What is it? When this dirt falls and hits something, does it sound a teeny bit hollow? Yeah. Yeah. The dirt is, is, is falling into the grave onto a coffin. I can't get this out of my head. I, I keep hearing the, the dirt being shoveled into a grave. Oh, I'm sorry, dear. I really am. Have a, have a nice buttercream. I know. Oh, this is driving me crazy. Oh, oh, I know. These audio premonitions can be like that, and it's probably worse for you. I mean, because of that stupid oath that Miguel made us both take, your, your magical powers are, are probably all backed up. And there's nothing worse than spectral constipation, believe me, I know. What do I do? Well, uh, there is a metaphysical musal in my bathroom. I'll get it. Uh, oh, oh, no, 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 no. I gave the last of it to Fluffy when he ate the delivery boy from Charlie Chins. All that rice bunged him up. Uh, ah, it's getting louder. Tabitha, make it stop. I can't stand this. Oh, ah! Oh, no, no, okay. Ah! Oh, you, oh you, 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 your premonitions are manifesting. What does that mean? Uh, I don't know, but it can't be good. Ah, make it stop, Tabitha, make it stop. Make it stop, Tabitha, make it stop. <laughs> Minds are just too weak for my brilliant sarcasm. Oh, damn that interfering Miguel. This is all his fault. He made us take that stupid oath not to use magic, or we would have brought Teresa and Pilar and the whole bloody lot of them back from Mexico by now. Hey, hey, wake up, dear. Miguel should be here, then everything would be fine. Instead, he's hurtling towards Mexico and death. Okay. Oh, oh, thank Hades. Yeah. Yeah. What happened? Oh, it's gone. The organ music, the shoveling. Oh. Wait, th th that's a good sign, right? Does that mean death changed his mind? Oh, those horrible sounds stopped, so that must mean that, that death isn't coming from Miguel, right? It was all just a big mistake. Oh, I'm so sorry, Kay. Feel your ear. Yeah. <gasps> oh, I'm afraid you've managed to burst your magical inner eardrum. But don't worry, it'll heal up in a few days. The point is, death is coming for sure. Well, maybe Miguel's not the target. I mean, you looked in, into the bowl and you saw Pilar and Teresa. You saw death coming to them. Yes, but that was my vision. You've been given a premonition for someone else's death. It can't be, Miguel. It can't be. If you hadn't temporarily ruined your magical hearing, you would hear the latest premonition at seeking you out. Death is flying in on his big black horse. And now we know where he's planning to land. Where? Look. <gasps> Okay, I have to warn Miguel. Well, he won't just turn tail and run home because you say you've had a premonition from the dark side. M make this stuff go away. Yeah, the message is for you, Kay. Just say message received. Fine. Message received. Adios. What am I supposed to do? decide for you, but I know what I'd do. I would
could use my powers of magic. Bring the man you love home, dear. And, and his mother, and his sister, and his brother, and Ethan. Miguel will be furious. Oh, so what? He'll be safe, and so will they. I mean, I could use magic. That, that what is lost may be found spell we used to find in Dora's machete. Mm, yes, but on a much larger scale, of course. Go on, Kay. Do it. I'll help you. There's still some zebra sweat left in the freezer. No, I can't. Why? Why not? <sighs> because Miguel was adamant. He said no magic. If I cast a spell that big, uh, he'll break up with me. I see. But it's all right if he dies. And his mother. And his sister. Oh, I don't know what to do. Yeah, well, you better make up your mind fast, Kay, because the dark side doesn't like to keep waiting. Dying flowers? Oh, my God, what kind of a warning is that? Yes, it is a bit Tennessee Williams, if you ask me. Uh, but the boys on the dark side do tend to go a bit over the top when they have to deliver a message. Now, listen, dear. What am I supposed to do? It's really very clear. You, you've had four, count them, four explicit warnings of death tonight. Your organ music, earth filling a grave, Mexican maracas, and now dying flowers. Someone is going to die in Mexico. And the only thing that can stop this from happening is magic. But Miguel hates magic. He's usually easygoing about everything, but he's not about this. He is absolutely determined to eradicate it from harmony. I see. So what's your plan? That we both sit around doing nothing, stuffing ourselves with chocolates, watching our bottoms grow bigger? I don't know. Well, you better hope that the person who dies in Mexico isn't Miguel. Because death is there, waiting to collect. Olé!